Hi, Megan. You can just call me Linda. Hi, I've been waiting for you guys. Come on over here. Um, hospice called me and told me to come here and get everything comfortable for your husband. Excellent. And I'll set like up for him. Really done a lot to get everything set up. Yes. So let's get him in bed. Why don't you grab that side? Okay. And I'll get him on this side. Alright, so thank you. Slippers off. Thank you. Okay. Let's cover him up. Thank you, Linda. Yeah, I'm gonna get go park this in the other room. Okay. It's not in the way. I've left so much undone. There's still so many things I wanted to accomplish here. Are we okay? Will you be okay? Find someone nice? I don't want you to be alone. Don't stop believing because it is my time to die too soon. I want to see you again in paradise. I wrote you a letter. It is in the Bible. Uh, honey, you wanted to come so badly home so you could be here when your time comes. Look outside at the coral tree, it's all in bloom. It's so beautiful right now. So many people want to come and say their goodbyes. Right now I'm gonna just let you rest, okay? Just close your eyes and get some rest. Pastor Jen, they told me I'm dying. I don't wanna die. I have so much more to do. I'm still young. I have a wife and children. Amen must die one day. Will you give me your prayer that I may have the Lord by my side? Most merciful Jesus, lover of souls, I pray you, by the agony of your most sacred heart, have mercy on the dying. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Jen. Hey. Oh, I heard about the diagnosis. I'm so sorry. You have the prayers of me and Becky, but I suppose you always knew you'd go like this. You always said, when I go, it'll be something stupid. You do remember that, don't you? We were walking. You and the missus, me and Becky. We had a great lunch. We were walking. Couldn't stop playing around and I just showed off the whole time. Oh well. I miss those days. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Just... <laughs> but soon the days began to fade together. Well, hey, at least you got more medicine. Suppose this means no more surfing before Admiral's call. Until Admiral Hinesley arrived. I am proud to be able to present to you the inaugural medal as designated Navy Supply Corps Officer. We could think of no one more qualified than you to receive this distinguished award. We want you to know your family will be taken care of and you can rest easy. You will not be forgotten. Thank you, Admiral. I appreciate your coming. Thanks, you guys. I know you guys are busy. Thanks for coming down. I'm sure he's glad to see you all. Mm, we'll miss him. Thank you. Okay, Mrs. Ross, I wanted to let you know that your husband has entered the stage where his condition will be declining, and you will notice him sleeping more and more. He is not in any pain. What can I do to help?
stay with him, talk to him, and remember the last thing to go is the ability to hear. So keep talking to him and reassuring him. Many people like to let their loved ones know that they will be alright, so it is okay for them to let go. I don't know if you can hear me. Nurse Megan said you could, so I guess this is my last chance to really tell you how much my life with you has meant to me. You've been such a good man. I don't know what I'm going to do without you, but I do want you to know we're going to be okay. And it's okay for you to go when, when you think it's time. But damn, I'm going to miss you, guy. You've been part of my life since I was a little kid. I don't know what it's going to be like without you. But we'll be okay. You'll always be with me. What is death? It is a waste, a waste of life, a waste of time, a waste of knowledge, a waste of ability. I could do so much more in life. Now what can I do? Nothing. I shall not die. I shall fight. I shall fight it. Damn. It is so too difficult. I feel cold. What is this cold? Is it death? Can I die when my desire to live is so high? My desire to awaken is still alive. My God can take me to heaven. I do not fear death. It is not death I fear. But the lack of life. Life is beautiful. Life is food. Life is love. What is heaven? Heaven is the unknown. The unknown, nonetheless. Death. Can it really be that bad? I feel little pain. I believe in my God. He will take me to the kingdom of heaven. He will help me. He will keep me safe. He will make me strong. For him, I am ready to go. Those who live must die. To be blessed with life is to be cursed with death. In this way, I suppose that death is just a reality of life. I, I'm, I'm not alone. God is with me. My friends are with me. It is finished. I'm with you.